Welcome to Blue Box PHP tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to look at the web page editor. So the first thing we'll do is load one of our projects. And uh, we have one page, index page. We'll select it and we'll rebuild it. So we can see we've got a short header graphic here which we're going to change and we'll also change the height of it. So with the actual uh, website page selected we go to the page editor tab firstly at the top of the uh, page editor frame what we have is is the title for the page this is what will be displayed in the browser and then we have two meta tags we have the page description meta tag and we also have the keywords meta tag so whatever information you put in these fields will be placed in the page header the secure page settings here are described in a different tutorial, the tutorial on signing and securing pages. On the right hand side of the frame is we have a list of customizable features for each page. Every page is different. The customizations are set in the page template. So we'll just look at two. At the moment, as we see in the browser, we have a header BG GIF it's just a placeholder so we'll change this for a different GIF we'll just select change image and uh, we have one here that's masthead uh, 900 by 130 just a demonstration graphic if we open that and rebuild our page you can see the placeholder graphic has now been changed but obviously it isn't quite high enough so we'll just go back to the page editor with the index page selected and we'll change the header height. I know that this header graphic is 130 pixels. Each item should have a description as in header height in pixels. Um, if we rebuild the image, so we can see now that the header has been the header size has been changed. As each individual page template has different customizable settings, then really it's it's a good idea to once you've selected your template is to go through and see what changes you'd like to make. What you could do with this template are there's three customized items that allows you to set the width of the actual page itself, the wrapper width, container width and content width. The wrapper width and container width are the two main div settings that allow you to set, the, set what the width is and the content width is this div here which is where we're dropping most of the content. Okay, so that concludes our short tutorial on the page editor tab.